This planet. What's it called? Transalore. Hey YouTubers, it's Charlie. So, we finally gotten some more information about the Christmas special, including some posters with some nice Easter eggs, even Peter Capaldi in the background. But so many of you have questions about which version of the Doctor Peter Capaldi is going to be, and even Stephen Moffat has said some things about the Doctor being the 14th incarnation. So I thought I'd do a video with the top five reasons why the Doctor can survive past his 12 regeneration limit. That being considered, what Stephen Moffat has actually said is that what we're going to do is call Peter Capaldi the 12th Doctor, but in reality he is like the 14th Doctor because Stephen Moffat is counting like the Metacrisis and all those partial regenerations. If you didn't see it, I also started a Q&A show called Ask Emergency. It's just a show where I can take your guys' questions and answer them directly in a video. So my next one will be a Doctor Who edition. Be sure to subscribe to get it and leave your questions after this video about the regenerations or anything Doctor Who related. Let's get started. These are my top five reasons why the Doctor can survive past his 12 regenerations limit. Number five, the Time Lords are able to grant new regeneration cycles. During the five Doctors, they actually offered the Master a new regeneration cycle. Even though they never delivered, they were able to offer that. Because of the events of the Day of the Doctor, now that we know Gallifrey has survived, if the Doctor ever does find it, it's possible for them to grant him a new regeneration cycle in exchange for saving Gallifrey. Number four, River song's early Christmas present. So during Let's Kill Hitler, she granted the Doctor all of her remaining regenerations. We saw her regenerate once as a child and then twice during Let's Kill Hitler. That leaves eight regenerations remaining if you don't count the actual regeneration that healed the Doctor. But then you have to subtract one more after the time the Doctor healed River Song's broken wrist during the Angels Take Manhattan. So that would leave seven of River's regenerations that the Doctor has left. It's unclear as to whether regenerations work like a faucet. Like you can turn it on a little bit and just use a little bit of regeneration energy or if it's like a light switch like you flick it once and that counts as one regeneration number three advanced regeneration theory so over classic who and modern who there have been different theories about how time lords regenerate and what regeneration is this could actually be an entire course on community so somebody call abed stephen moffat could use one of these alternate regeneration theories as a loophole through the rule of 12. first there's long-term exposure to the untempered schism and the time vortex we'll call that exposure theory that's basically what gave river song her regenerations she was exposed while she was a fetus inside of Amy Pond. High fives for sex on a TARDIS. Another theory is the presence of self-replicating biogenic molecules that kind of rearrange and repair tissue. We'll call that the nanobot theory. Another theory is that Rassilon altered Time Lord genetics to give them triple helix DNA, and that third helix is what enables the regeneration. We'll call that genetic theory. Number two, manipulation of Artron energy. So Think of this as being like the midi-chlorians in Star Wars, only in name only. It's like this strange force that's connected to the essence of life itself, as well as time travel. It's like background radiation. During the Doctor's Wife, it's actually what House was feeding on when it tried to take over the TARDIS. So it's possible that the Doctor could find a way to manipulate Artron energy using the TARDIS to kind of fill up his life force gas tank, so to speak. And my number one theory, we can also thank River Song for this one too. This is the escalation theory. So during the Forest of the Dead, she said that the Doctor has begun to gain powers beyond that of a normal Time Lord. That could also mean that he's gaining regeneration powers beyond that of a normal Time Lord. The interesting thing about this theory is that he really wasn't aware of how he was changing on a fundamental level until River Song told him that. So it's possible that he totally still believes in this rule of 12 and thinks that after 12 he's definitely going to die. So come Christmas, he could actually think that something really, really terrible is going to happen and just be totally surprised whenever he becomes Peter Capaldi. So, lots of theories, some with more evidence than others. Be sure to post your best regeneration theory in the comments below. Remember, we're trying to figure out how the Doctor is going to survive past 12 because the BBC isn't going to stop making Doctor Who after next year or after Peter Capaldi decides to leave. Like I said earlier, I'm doing my Doctor Who Ask Emergency Q&A video next week. Be sure to leave your comments and I'll answer them. A lot of you asked for a longer video than the one I posted last time, so I'll try to pick at least 10 of your questions to answer. In the meantime, check out my Doctor Who Christmas trailer video by clicking here and check out my latest Game of Thrones video by clicking here. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys tonight. High fives.